Hi, boys and girls. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I am creating this video for you to explain your social issues book clubs project that you'll be working on on Thursday as well as Friday. So you are going to have two options for this project. Either you are going to complete a one pager, which if you choose that option, that means that your project will be done on paper. And your other option is to create a Google Slides. So that obviously would be on your Chromebook then. And I know that a majority of you are very familiar with Google Slides. So those are your two options. One pager will be on paper, Google Slides will obviously be utilizing your Chromebook then. The purpose of this project and why I'm having you do this is for you to communicate to me your understanding of the big ideas, the themes, and any connections you can make to your book club book. And you are going to choose one of the book club books that you read during our unit. And so remember that those are the books that I gave to you from the white bins on top of my classroom library library bookshelves. Okay, and you want to make sure that whichever book you choose to do this project on is likely going to be one of your favorites, but it also needs to be a book that you read completely. So you read it from the beginning to the end. And when you've read the entire book, that's going to make doing this project a little bit easier. So make sure that whichever book you are choosing to do this on is a book that you've read the entire thing. On the screen, you're going to see the requirements for the project. You are going to get a hard copy of this. This will also be posted in Google Classroom in case you need to reference it at home and maybe forget the sheet at school, whatever the scenario may be. Okay, so the requirements for this project, you're going to see that I have a checklist for you. Okay, and the first item that I need to see on your project is obviously your name and your block number so that I know whose project it is. Then you will need to include the title of your book and the author's name somewhere on your project. If you wanna get creative with how you are presenting that, feel free to do so, but making sure that the title of your book and your author's name are somewhere on your project. This next requirement is going to be different depending on whether or not you do the one pager or the Google Slides. If you do the one pager, you're going to create a border on your project. Your border is going to include words, pictures, symbols, or quotes from the text. And whatever you're choosing to put in your border must be related to your story. And that's kind of an opportunity for you to get creative. And then if you are doing a Google Slides, you'll create a slide with words, pictures, symbols, or quotes from the text. And obviously, again, those must be related to the text, okay? Another opportunity for you to get creative, maybe you make it kind of a collage, which is just an accumulation of all those different things. The next requirement is for you to create a timeline. On that timeline, I'd like to see four to six important events that occurred in your story. And when you put these events on the timeline, they need to go in chronological order, meaning that they need to be put in the order that they happened in the book. Okay, so whatever happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. The next few requirements are a little bit more complex and more directed towards what we learned in our reading unit. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is analyze a character relationship using five sentences. So you have to use five sentences. sentences. If you use more than that, that's fine, but I'm looking for at least five. Some of the things you might discuss related to the relationship you've chosen is you could talk about the positive and negative aspects of the relationship. You could talk about how each particular character contributes to trouble in the relationship. You also could discuss if there is any power imbalance and how that affects the relationship. And I want to just remind you to make sure that you're referencing the text when discussing those things to support your thinking. The next requirement I'm going to ask you to discuss in three to five sentences a group that your character is a part of. And I want you to also discuss what issues your character faces because of being a part of that group. And again, making sure to include evidence from the text to support your thinking with that. The next thing I'm going to ask of you is to explain in three to five sentences what you learned about social issues from reading this book. 
make sure you're referencing the posters that are in our classroom classroom where we generated all the different social issues that we were seeing in our book club books that can kind of help guide you as to which one you could potentially talk about in these sentences but i want you to explain to me what you learned about that social issue through reading your book and again make sure to provide evidence from the text to support your thinking the last item that I'm asking for is for you to write a review of the book. Remember that a review can be written about a pro product you buy on Amazon. Um, you could review a movie, but what a review is, is I'm asking if you would recommend the book to a classmate. And the biggest piece of the review is for you to explain why you would or why you would not recommend the book to a classmate. And so I'm looking for that review to be around three to five sentences. And the last item is to make sure that you are colorful and neat. Whether you are doing the one pager or the Google Slides, it should be visually appealing, meaning you're utilizing colors, pictures, things like that. Okay. On the second page, you're going to see several examples of one pager projects. So if you're choosing to do that, you can see what an end product may look like. And so here are some different examples of one pager projects. This is on the back of your handout as well so that you can see them a little bit closer. But as you can see, they're covering the whole page. They're very colorful. There are images, there are words. And so these are some great examples of what a one pager would look like when you are finished with it. If you are doing a Google Slides, you'll likely plan to put each of the requirements on its own slide. So you should have somewhere probably around eight slides by the time your project is finished, if you met all of those requirements. Okay, so this is going to be what you were working on Thursday and Friday. And hopefully you'll have a good chunk of work time, you'll be able to finish it before spring break. If not, I would like you to work on it over spring break so that when you return to school after spring break, you will be turning this in to me. So keep that in mind as you're working, making sure to use your work time wisely to make sure that you do not have to worry about this over spring break. Okay. If you have any questions, the substitutes will help you to the best of their ability. If there's anything hugely concerning and you cannot get an answer, you and I can have that conversation after spring break if need be, okay? So good luck on your projects and I will see you after spring break.